I want to take our viewers back now to June 30th, 2009. A married couple in their boat on the Des Moines River went over the Center Street Dam in downtown Des Moines. The boat capsizing, the husband drowned, and a rescue effort was quickly underway to save the woman, and she was still caught in the rolling dam's undertow. Des Moines Register photojournalists Andrea Melendez and Mary Willing, at that time she was Mary Chind, responded to that scene, and both photographers captured captivating images of that rescue. But the editors chose one of Willie's images for the front page of next day's paper and then submitted it for Pulitzer consideration. That photo won the 2010 Pulitzer for breaking news photography, beating out, incidentally, the Associated Press for images the AP had of the war in Afghanistan and the New York Daily News staff for coverage of the U.S. Airways landing in the Hudson River. Here is the experience in Mary's own words. Uh, it was such a far distance uh, across the river, and I did not have a tripod, and so I was, I was zooming in, you know, with my lenses capability. I knew I would have to crop the image, so I was really just focusing on holding my breath still, and not, you know, when you get excited when you're doing anything, your heart pounds and you get a little shaky. So I was, I had my elbows on the the dam bridge, the you know, retaining wall there, like making a human tripod, and I was just thinking about focusing. That's all I thought about. Focusing, focusing, because I knew that would be, at such a zoomed in distance, it would be critical to be right on. Your work instinct comes into play, first of all. You're just thinking about the story and, you know, um, just doing your job technically as well as you can. Not until after the, the hands connected, then it really dawned on me. Uh, what an amazing thing that had just happened. I mean, I assumed I would have something powerful. I didn't know it would be, you know, just the angles and the interest of it all would work out very well. I think it popped out because of the hand and the angle, the composition of the, you know, the, the diagonal movement of the lines. For me as a person, um, would it be the per picture I would put on my wall at home? No. And I've I've got frames, prints of it, and I don't have it hanging on my wall at home because it's a tragic event. This picture is always going to be out there, and it's, it's in the museum, and it's in history. And it's just something to be really proud of. It just taught me so many things, uh, little things about life, and that's what photojournalism has done. All, it's been such a blessing to learn so many life lessons, but um, one of them is to be prepared for anything to know that any day, like if, if you're a construction worker, you could be saving someone's life. And I think that's what inspired so many people about that photograph is that this is not a man that's trained to rescue people, but here he is in your everyday life. I mean, you can come across a situation at any time um, to just be willing to help out. Really the biggest honor for me was to have them pick a single photo and as a photographer in the day of the new media, it was exciting to me that a single photo was chosen and it won because even in the, the Pulitzer Prize history, you know, lots of times there's bodies of work, there's, uh, you know, several photographers working on a project and all wonderful work. I'm not, I just think it's really wonderful that one single photo was able to win the award and that I was able to, to do that.